Hey, I just wanted to document something pretty cool. I was uh, working on a, a prototype board here, and I've got some electrolyte that's leaking out of this cell over here. So I put some some uh, rags down here to to get up the, uh, the electrolyte, the spilled electrolyte, and uh, uh, started smoking over here. And I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on, but I want to show you this cool effect. This this is here is hooked to my ground over here on, on the board. Um, my power's off. I've got a residual of like uh, three volts probably in those capacitors there. Um, but watch, watch this. No clue how that's happening. high voltage. Well, I don't dare touch that thing, but and it's, uh, I don't know if it's making hydrogen or what it's doing, but it's, something's coming up off of it. Some reason it reacts the best down in here. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, the power is off. Like the power, the power is off. I don't know what's happening. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. Now, I've got this connected to what would have been the ground of my PWM here, and this ground, you know, is connected to this big cable here, which goes into goes into my power supply there. Um, and I got some other stuff here. This, this is the stuff that was just laying here. Now, I've got. This hooked up to the leads of my uh, my voltmeter over here, and let's see, this one here is going to the plus of my cell, and this one here is going to the actually that's that's the plus. This is the minus. Those are kind of hooked up there, and then I've got this thing that's just dangling over here, so that's not hooked to anything. Um, so, I'm going to stick that in there. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. What did I do? Oh, here we go. Set that in there. There we go, there it is again. Looks like it has something to do with. Wow, it has something to do with this lead right here. So let me pull out this one. Now I'm just observing this as I go. Let me unhook that. See if that does anything. Now it looks like it's going between these two here because I can see some sparks on this right here. I'm going to go ahead and ground these two together and see what I get. Whoa. See, something blue over here. I do not know what it is. Some high voltage there. Maybe. This has something to do with, uh, this is off, but it's plugged in. Let me unplug it. And it's in the off position. That's what would be feeding this cell. And I'm not getting anything. After I touched it there, I don't get anything.
Well, let me kick on my power supply just for a second. Okay. Try this again. Okay. I think that has something to do with my uh, with this power supply right here. It's it's uh, off, but uh, doesn't appear to be. Let me plug that in again. See if we can get that same effect over here. Nope. The effect is gone. I have no idea. How it happened, how it started. That was really cool though. So I'm not sure if it was leaking through that. Let me get my voltmeter. Actually, I can just use this one's already hooked up. DC volts. Let's hook this back up. We got there and there. Um, okay, so this is shown 1.2 volt. So if anything's coming through, pull this out. Just unplugged it. Just unplug it. Let me flip it on. Okay. Nothing. 1.2 volt. I can't. I can't get the effect to happen again. I wonder if I blew out my board here. I wonder if it's something that had to do with my board. Let's turn it back on. No. Not that. The board's still working. Pulling a few amps there. Let me try this here now that the board's on. Nope. Nothing. Wow, that was that was pretty cool. You guys have any idea what, what happened? Please let me know. Uh, this is basically a pulse width modulator board. Um, yeah, and it was off. It was off when the effect happened. Yeah, I can't duplicate it again. It's something pretty cool. Yeah, if anybody knows what this is, let me know. That was that was pretty neat. Thanks.